definitely gonna need to stream a different day to get all of this done. Fuck! I didn't read the mission description. It's okay, we're gonna let them terrorize it. We're gonna let them do whatever they want. So that we can go to Mars. Please, stop. Uh, they might be finding our base again. Okay, if if X if the XCOM funders were not pissed before, they're gonna be pissed now. What I might do is actually just save. <laughs> There's no lose. Okay. If they get too pissed, we they might. What the fuck? Okay, that that might explain why they keep doing successful finds on our base. It's because they're sending so many UFOs to do it. Thank god, okay. So, Blasted is 200 damage. And... Uh, it has more than 100% accuracy. Which means if your uh, agent has really bad accuracy, they're probably gonna hit anyway. Then we can do those as well, but I don't care. I just wanna get this done, then we can go to Mars. Mm, okay. Wow, I nearly pressed that out of habit. Okay. Everyone hates us. France and Canada both got infiltrated. <laughs> because we're not shooting down the infiltration UFOs. But it's fine. Because hopefully before the end of this month, our scientists... Oh! Thank you. Okay. It's getting very late over here. Local time for me. Heavy plasma is 115 damage as opposed to the 60, 70 of um not craft of the laser cannon, laser rifle. Sorry, 60. So okay, what I'm gonna do? I definitely do not have time to finish the game tonight. Which is ironic because I said I would. Um, okay, so I'll do the loadout. I'll go to Mars, start the mission, and then we'll call it a night. And we'll finish it off later. Wait, did. Why did Yummy Buttons and Super Cthulhu get to the top of the list? The hell? How did they do that? Did we really lose all of the people before them? God, that's pretty crap. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Ah, the final set of equipment. So, before we do that actually, we need to decide who we're going to take as just um, mind control fodder. I don't want anyone below 30 having an actual gun. So we need, well, having an actual gun. Let's say anyone below 40 gets a laser eye hole, and anyone above that can have heavy plasma. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 heavy plasmas. And then all the strongest, mentally strongest people can have blasters as well. But we're just going to bring as many blasters as we can fit. All oh, right, open XCOM has no has no um limit. In the original game, you could only fit two hundred or maybe two hundred fifty-five. I don't know a, a an X number of equipment onto the ship. And I've already forgotten how many laser rifles we need. 
Um, but in Open XCOM they fix that. And now you can put as many as you want. Five, six, seven, okay. We want seven laser rifles. Let's bring more proximity grenades. 36? There's enough for everyone to have two. Uh, we don't need to take any prisoners. We do need to see in the dark though. Uh, so seven minus, no, it would be 18 minus seven. So I want 11 heavy plasmas. Actually, you know what, let's just take spares. I guess everything goes to hell. They need stun grenades. And we don't need mine probes. Might as well take alien grenades. Actually, no, that's not true. We have blasters. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's make sure everyone has the correct armor, which they do. Alright. Let's go to Mars, guys. I'll just save in case I need to come back here. Stream game. Um, I think this is 21. Just before Mars, for real. Can't say for real. Um, just before Mars, for real. <laughs> there we go. Okay. <sighs> yes. Okay. So. Don't need proximity grenades. I'm trying to remember how this plays out. I think we might actually want flares. No. We don't need flares if we have smoke, right? Okay. But everyone can have two proximity grenades. I'm gonna give everyone smoke in hand. And then I'll need to go through and prime it all. And the reason for that is it's dark. Not completely dark, but like it's low visibility on Mars, I think. And even if it isn't, and I'm not sure, um, I just basically want to get my guys into the elevator. I don't want to clear the whole map. I just want to take the elevator down to the, the actual base that we need to take out. 43, you can have a real gun. Congratulations, you do double damage now. You can keep that though. Captain Yummy Buttons, sorry, Colonel Yummy Buttons. And uh, that's Captain, I think, Captain Super Cthulhu. Welcome aboard. <laughs> You're a lady. Yummy Buttons is a lady as well. Uh, actually, you have good psi strength. You can have a blaster. You can dual wield. Yeah, you can dual wield. I'm okay with that. Carry some spare ammo. Really? Ah, oh, whatever. That's fine. 42. I was about to give him a blaster, but that would be a bad idea. Uh, what am I doing? So many grenade. 65. Would I give a blaster to a 65? I don't know. I'll have to think about it and come back to them. I can fix up their proximity grenade there. 73, yep, you can have a blaster. My friend. My pal. Uh, and carry a spare clip. 85, yep. Looks good. We don't have the med kit actually. Give that to someone else. 85 might end up having one. Um, so let's go through the 
whole roster and then come back to that guy with the 65 size strength. Oh, that works out well. Um, 98, definitely. And he has a lot of strength as well, so we don't have to take off too much equipment. Nice. Oh, what I could do is actually... You can unload the, the rounds from the blaster and just carry some blasters on some people and some ammo on others so that um, they can never actually fire the blaster in case they get mind controlled. It just reduces the risk. No, you don't get a good gun. Yeah, I think that's what I might do. 68. Yeah, 68 is still risky. Those blasters are so destructive. 92 is pretty safe. Although she's a little weak. Maybe drop the grenade. 45. Uh, I guess you got a rifle here. I don't really want you to have a rifle, but... Oh, it's fine. Okay. So, let's start on... Yeah, let's unload them here, then. Make sure all of these are empty. <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Right. These are all empty. Perfect. Then only has got some spare strength. Just carry one or the other. And then I need to re remember to go through and actually um, prime all the smoke grenades. <sighs> so much setup. <laughs> so boring. I'm very sorry. It's boring for me as well, but it's the last mission, so we might as well do it right here. Why did the equipment shuffle around? Okay, and now to prime all the grenades, and then I will. off the stream right after we start the mission. Like I'll give you guys a look at what it's like like terrain wise. And then I'll cock block you and you can come back next stream to actually get what was promised in the title. Because <laughs> my scientists are apparently absolutely garbage. Alright so yeah it is dark. Um, so yeah this is Mars. Uh, the map's fairly large, as you can see. Um, and yes, it is dark, so aliens can see in the dark, humans can't unless it's lit up. Um, but smoke nullifies most of that advantage. Uh, if you're on the same level, like, of the map, then it completely nullifies the uh, vision advantage that aliens have in the dark. But if they're looking above, because you can see the sort of these pyramids here. Um, if they look out of those, then the smoke doesn't work very well, because the smoke doesn't have much verticality. It's mostly horizontal smoke. But yeah, there we go. Stream game 22 Mars boys, we did it. And. I'm very sorry that we didn't actually get through and finish this. 
I need another couple hours probably to get it all done and do the, the bonus bit at the end. Um, and for the bonus bit I'm just going to play through the same mission again, except I'm going to win the game in a really cheesy way that I've done before so I know it works. It's a lot riskier but it's a lot less time consuming so like that'll probably only take 20-30 minutes and then the actual run through will take an hour and a half or so. But yep, I uh, will catch you guys next time. And as you go, you can see what happens if you lose the game. The aliens attempt to exterminate all humanity, destroying cities and poisoning the air and the sea. The resistance of Earth armies is futile in the face of vastly superior technology, which isn't true at all. Surviving generations suffer terrible mutations as they flee alien destruction. They round it up into slave camps to help transform Earth into an alien colony, which is part of some unknown empire. And you have all this random destruction because reasons. Oh, well, the last part you didn't really see. So I'll actually just load that up and can lose the game again. There you go. The knowledge gained through the Earthcom project is lost forever. You have failed to save the Earth, and for some reason everyone turned into mutants with weird faces and bad clothes and multiple arms and minimal hair. It's pretty, pretty sad and dark, but there you go.